blue, bluer, the bluest. If there was a comparative for bluer than the bluest, this is the place. Long Island's bright fine sands below us glowing in the moonlight just felt magical. Another day, another project. So today um, I gonna have a look at our uh, salt water pump from the engine. And I've never replaced one before on the water pump, but I uh, already done it on my old moped. beautiful bays I've ever been in and the, the sand is just super fine it's really hard to leave this beautiful beautiful place but as we don't have uh, so much time left in the Bahamas here we're going to probably head to Georgetown today uh, yeah, well we miscalculated for about I would say yeah, 10 centimeters or something Before leaving Georgetown, we were a bit nosy to see what Great Exuma looked like a bit out of town. So we walked and hitchhiked a bit north and then stumbled over something strange. A beach filled with the most beautiful shells known as conch. The conch is a sea slug, eaten raw in salads with lemon juice, oil, herbs, onions, cucumbers and tomatoes. Sometimes they are also served as so-called conch fritters. We had been told by some sailors from Florida that until the 1970s the queen conch was a major food resource, while today harvesting them in Florida waters is prohibited, as they have become very scarce. In the Bahamas, the conchs are still a vital part of culture and economy. But seeing this, not only here, made us think and worry a bit whether critical levels due to quite loose conch fishing regulations could soon be reached. Today we are anchored off the little island White Bay Cay, just 15 nautical miles northwest of Georgetown. After having some troubles with the inaccurate Navionics charts, getting stuck in the shallows of the island, we found a reasonable spot with 30 centimeters below our keel and jumped into our dinghy to meet the special inhabitants already awaiting us from far away. Going to the pig beach. So the Bahamas are famous for their swimming pigs. So we gonna check the check out the pigs. Let's go and have a little giggle. Oh, that's a großes Schwein. Yeah, relax, I think a little bit. Fall bloß nicht über. Weil ja nicht, dass sie ins Dingi beißen halt, ne? Soll hier den Dingi beißen? <laughs> Hello! Hello! Is that you friendly? Oh, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'm not
<lacht> ja, ich weiß, wir haben ein bisschen was für euch mitgebracht, aber ich muss mich, glaube ich, erstmal an euch gewöhnen hier. <lacht> Seid ihr freundlich? <lacht> Eli? So. Oh shit, Eli. Ich glaube, die sind, die sind schon ein bisschen verdorben. Vielleicht sollten wir das Ding lieber draußen ankern. <lacht> Aber ich glaube, die gehen wirklich schwimmen und das Problem ist, die verfolgen mich jetzt. the major beach uh, for finding these swimming peaks but oh, the major one is like about 40 nautical miles to the north north of Staniel Cape. We are here on a small little island we just read on Navionics that there are some pigs living here as well as well as some flying chickens and uh, he's a very old guy just had some very hard time getting out of the water. I think his legs or his joints are not doing so well anymore but it's like he's really relaxing and enjoying the last bits uh, of his life. Seems like he's the main male here <laughs> on the island. And just look at him. <laughs> That's the way, right way to do to enjoy your life, right? <laughs> I must say I'm still a little bit a little bit afraid because uh, his teeth are not too small and um, the piggies were inspecting our dinghy very curiously. We did bring a few of our veggie leftovers, but uh, yeah. So pretty cool experience uh, meeting these little swimming piggies on white Bahama sand <laughs> behind turquoise waters. Yay, 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 yay.
Red K Cut is one of the few options to switch between the Exuma sound from which we were coming and the bank side. The cut offered an access into a sand maze territory with very shallow areas to reach a sheltered anchorage for the night, tucked in behind Radke. Red Kai, Red Red K, and there is a lake in the middle of the island. Should be, so we're gonna check it out. Nice beach as always again on the Bahamas. Nobody around. Two catamarans anchoring with us here, but I don't think anybody lives on uh, Red K, Red Key. Maybe some rats, man. Maybe some rats. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore. It's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Ooh, we are dreamers of the. Sponge. Sponge for cleaning.
Det er det andet, Ilja. Thanks for joining us along in our footsteps. In our next episode, we dare our way through tricky cuts, behind which we find Rex and an impressive, colorful underwater world. A little further northeast, we then meet Israel, impressing us with his bohemian dance moves. We enjoy island hopping the Exumas to the fullest. Finally reaching another very special place, an island fully inhabited by little dragons. To support us with improving our films and technical gear, click on the Blended and Patreon button or have a look at our webpage. Thanks, Seeps. Until next time, Ilya and Jana.